Hey guys, Lee Sell here with the Crawl Space Ace. Uh, and today, once again, we're going over a spray foam encapsulation job that was done uh, that the homeowner called us out to, to redo their, their crawl space because it's, it's just not working out. Um, now this one's not nearly as bad as some of the ones we've done in the past. It's just been full of water and just a freaking mess. But, uh, but at the same time, they still, they did the spray foam encapsulation. There's mold growing on the floor joists uh, and the homeowner just wants that taken care of. They don't want to have to worry about mold and stuff. So uh, they called us, of course, to, to get that figured out and, and get it done right. So let's go take a look, see what they're working with. So here we go. Uh, this is actually our one of our temporary dehumidifiers here set up to uh, to help dry it out before we do our mold remediation. But as you can see, they got the spray foam up on the walls. So this is this is how the, these companies do it right here. So they, they spray foam these walls, these outside walls, all the way up. Um, apparently, don't leave any space for a uh, termite inspection, uh, which isn't ideal. Uh, so, but, and then all the other walls here. So they spray here on the, on the bottom to attach this, this cheap, this cheap black six mil plastic down on the ground that won't last for nothing. Um, so that's how they seal it to the wall. So, Let's go, let's go take a look at the rest of this crawl space. Just a little bit of trash here and there. Like I said, it's not, it's not horrible. It's not full of water, nothing like that, which is, which is good. Um, they, they did some good grading around this, this house to, to alleviate the uh, the water getting in. So they did a good job of that, whoever built the house and, and set all that up. But um, but yeah, they they put this system in here. Uh, didn't worry about just, I just figure with these, these ducts running through uh, the crawl space, what a lot of these companies tell homeowners is that uh, these this HVAC duct work will, will leak uh like they'll just have some air leaks and stuff like that uh and and that's what they'll that's what dehumidifies your crawl space uh which is not the case especially in some of these bigger crawl spaces like this one is um this is a big crawl space a lot of a lot of area um it's kind of hard to tell because it's dark um not a crazy amount of mold um but the homeowner wants to get ahead of it make sure uh Make sure it doesn't get to a to a point where it is really bad, uh, and health uh, and and cause health concerns and things like that. So, so yeah, I mean, the sooner sooner you can take care of it, the sooner you can uh, alleviate that mold, get it out of there. Because because once it's sealed up, even even how much they seal these up with all the spray foam and everything, there's no there's no outside vents, anything like that for for that those mold spores to go. Uh, they just they just go up into the house, uh, and I've and I've I've seen it happen before, where uh, a, a company will come in, won't do a, f a full mold remediation before they seal it up and encapsulate the crawl space, and then all of a sudden, uh, homeowners complaining because they're they're sick all the time uh, when they're at home, uh, and they I I talked to one recently where they literally had to move out. After they, after somebody had come, uh, another another company that didn't use our bid he used somebody else's bid because they're cheaper. Uh, they didn't do a mold remediation, uh, encapsulated the crawl space, and uh, and now the homeowner had to move out uh, because they're having a lot of health problems. So uh, and and I so come to find out, like I said, they didn't they didn't do the mold remediation. So. Um, like I said, once you seal it up, you're sealing this crawl space up with the house. You need to remediate that mold before before you do that, uh, and then also really take the measures, the right measures, into uh, making sure that that 
this isn't an area, this isn't a, a, an area that mold can grow. So you can't just play it lightly and just throw, throw a barrier down, spray from the walls and, and call it good thinking that the moisture will be out. Um, you gotta, you gotta make sure if you're not going to put a dehumidifier in there, uh, you better be putting a, uh, humidity reader in here that you can monitor on a daily basis and make sure those levels aren't getting above 60%. So, um, so that mold, mold won't grow. And if it does, then you need to be putting a dehumidifier in there, uh, which I just recommend doing anyway, cause you can pretty well guarantee that the humidity levels are going to get higher. Um, it just it's just a matter of time and it happens uh it's humid out here it's wet out here just sealing it up and calling it good ain't isn't, isn't going to cut it so once again like i said we're out here uh this is our uh, another another spray foam encapsulation job that that we're going to be we're going to be redoing so uh we'll have to tear out this 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 cheap six mil liner that's on the ground we'll have to scrape off some of the spray foam on the wall so we can seal our liner up on the wall uh we'll make it not only nice and pretty but uh highly effective uh make it make it make it a good working system for for this homeowner so uh stick around for for the uh the after after video thanks guys all right guys here we are again uh it's been about a little over a week since we started this job. I know it feels like just a couple seconds for you guys, but it's been about a week for us uh, out here working hard, getting this job knocked out. So um, guys, guys, guys did a good job out here. Uh, got this encapsulation installed and everything. So let's, let's go take a look and see, uh, see how it looks now. All right, here we go. Pretty dang good. Let me take my boots off so I don't mess anything up. These guys, what these guys did over here. So as you can see up here, still got the spray foam up here. Uh, it takes a lot of time scraping that stuff off. So. Uh, really what we're forced to do is just uh, scrape a section off right here at the top of our liner uh, so we can put our our uh, ceiling tape our wall wall seal tape uh, up and uh, and seal our liner to these foundation walls so nice and sealed up now We'll never get these. Uh, we'll never get these spray foam encapsulation redos uh, looking as nice as our other ones uh, because of all the spray foam that's still on the walls. There's still spray foam back behind the liner here, um, stuff like that. So uh, it doesn't lay as flat. Doesn't look as good, but uh, as you can see, it still looks pretty dang good. And it's sealed up much tighter underneath this underneath this liner here uh, we got our our felt underlayment uh, that protects the liner as people like me right now are climbing through here uh, service guys plumbers electricians come through here got to got to do some work um, it doesn't it doesn't tear up the liner so we got the felt underlayment underneath and then this is our uh, 90 mil liner that we put down. Um, it's it's got uh, it's got some it's some insulation factor in it. Uh, it's real thick, holds up really well, uh, and and it's gonna last the life of this home. So customer will, customer will never have to pay for this again. Only thing he'll have to do is uh, service his dehumidifier uh, once once a year, just like any other unit. Um, but look, here's the dehumidifier. It's not, it's not currently running, which is a, which is a really good thing because that means we're down 50% humidity. 
So everything's sealed up real nice. Uh, that this dehumidifier doesn't even have to run very much. Uh, and that's, that's the way we like to seal them up. So uh, it was actually at 83% humidity when we started this job. Uh, the guys were down here sweating trying to put this put this liner in because it was humid under here. So, so yeah. If any anybody tells you that uh, that when you see as soon as you seal up the the crawl space, uh, you don't have to worry about humidity. You don't need a dehumidifier. All oh, my HVAC system will keep it dehumidified. All that all that that stuff people like to say just to. Um, I don't know where they hear it or if they just, they just pull it out of, pull it out of the air and, and say it, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You need a dehumidifier under here, keeping the moisture down, um, and, and keeping those moisture levels down to, to stop, uh, stop, the, keep, keep mold, wood rot, things like that from, from growing under here and causing not only health problems, but, but structural problems as well. So um those are two really big big issues uh with with moisture in the crawl space so that's what we're fighting that's what, what why we install these systems uh on on a regular basis and, and protect these homes protect these families stuff like that so um this uh like i said this job turned out really good uh like i said it'll never never lay as flat as our our uh standard encapsulations uh, due to the spray foam, but I mean, still looks really, really good. Not only looks good, but works really good, as as shown by that by the dehumidifier uh, already sitting at at fifty percent humidity. So um, keeping everything nice and sealed up, uh, and and a good liner down, sealed to the walls, and everything like that. Um, keeps everything efficient, keeps, keeps our moisture levels down where they need to be. So, um, here we are again, uh, redoing another spray foam encapsulation. Um, the reason I make so many of these videos is because we see so many problems with these spray foam encapsulations. Um, and I'm trying to keep, I want to educate homeowners that these, they may be cheaper, a cheaper option, but they are not a good option. Uh, at least not out here in Western Kentucky. Uh, this job here was done out in Paducah, Kentucky here. So um, we, we run into problems with, with spray foam encapsulations out here all the time. So uh, just just be wary of what you're getting into. Do a little bit of research so you know what you're, what you're getting into, what you're having put under your house. Um, because you want a system like this, whether we do it or, or somebody else does it. Um, it, you want a system that's, that's going to last, uh, not only work, but, but last a lifetime, the life of the home. And that's, that's the kind of systems we install. So, uh, thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, until next time, we'll see you later. If you have any other questions, feel free to, you can email me at the crawlspaceace at gmail.com or go on our website at www.the-crawlspaceace.com and you can fill out a contact form and contact me through that. Thank you.